Hey there, welcome to this lesson, which is lesson four. This time we'll be running through the concept I want to represent briefly. Remember that I chose a crop as a reference. What you can see now on the screen is a sketch I made previously before making the new sketch. I want to highlight the pincers and the legs of the crop. And here we have the sketch I made for this course. As you can see, I've used as a reference the previous sketch I just showed you. What we are going to do now is activate symmetry. And this option will be of great help when creating our mecha, since it will simplify considerably the drawing task. We only need to make one side of the drawing and the other one will be created automatically. So this tool will erase and speed up the work we and we'll get a perfect symmetry. Regarding robots, it's especially useful since it's composed by a series of elements and pieces that are almost perfect and symmetric. These are mechanical pieces that are supposed to fit in perfectly. And well, we could say they have a spotless appearance, so to speak. In case we want to represent a robot with a retro look and some imperfections, then symmetry will be of great help to represent, to represent those imperfections. So, I've picked the symmetry tool and I've drawn that line in the middle. And after drawing it, I started inking the robot. I've basically used this tool you can see on the right, which is the brush tool. The brush is quite important when inking this type of robots, since depending on the style you are going to represent, you will ink it in a way or another. It's true that some people even skip this step and color the drawing directly using color palettes, like grey tones or a predetermined color palette to color the whole drawing. But anyway, we are going to use the brush. So let's get back on track. As I said, I've used a brush with a thick stroke and with a pack edges. As I'm working with Photoshop CC 2018, I'm using a lot the option that allows to slow the mouse movement down in order to make a much cleaner and straighter strokes and avoid getting a blurred and shaky drawing. This will help us to get a clean drawing and, well, anyway, as I always say, it's just a matter of modifying it and adding some details. As you can see, the inside of the cabin is basically composed by a seat and some controls. Also, I thought it would be cool to draw a little crap on the headrest of the seat, which contributes to emphasize the concept I'm representing. These small details are crucial to add a personal touch to your design. So guys, keep this in mind when developing your character. It's important even when creating a robot, because although you think these details aren't important, those who see your drawing will notice them. Well, as you can see, the cabin is almost finished and we just need to add the final details, details to complete it, like controls and small buttons, some screws and pines, also the air vents and so on. These are basically the details I'm going to add and it's not that difficult. And regarding the inking process, my advice is being extremely patient. And trust me, even for those of you working with Photoshop CC 2018 and working in slow motion, patience is a must. And you will use Control Set several times. Either you are the most experienced designer, either you are a beginner. It's true that when working with digital drawing, 
there's a history panel where you can undo several times without using control set. You can also do screenshots and restore it to its previous version. As you can see here, I'm just working with the main elements of the illustration, but even in fast motion, it can be appreciated that inking is a long process. We need to be extremely careful and retouch it over and over until you're happy with the results. And not always you like it, trust me. So it's just a matter of modifying and trying different things until you find the result you expect. Uh, there's not much else to say. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can always ask me on the forum and I'll try to help you as much as I can. In the next lesson, after finishing this sketch, I'll be playing around with perspective to see a robot from different angles. So guys, I'll play some music for the rest of the video and see you in the next lesson. Please. Remember to ink carefully, use the lines of the sketch as a guide and use a thick brush. If you can use the slow motion option for the mouse, much better. In case you want to deactivate symmetry, just go to the same tab and deactivate it. As you know, there are lots of, de of them and you can move them. You can also hide them, load the previous ones and so on. So guys, as I said, see you in the next lesson. Enjoy the rest of the video. See you now. Thank you.